Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Paul and I'm an app developer here in AppWork. And today I'm gonna be talking to you about boards and more specifically, archiving and unarchiving a board. Uh, archiving by definition means to just preserve and provide access to valuable information. You may have seen this in the real world, whether it be in libraries, museums, or even digitally on your email. Uh, now we here at AppWord also provided that functionality into our boards application, uh, which would allow you to pretty much archive and unarchive a board. Um, you may choose to archive a board if um, that board specifically relates to maybe a new application or um, something that's um, no longer in use and you don't necessarily want to delete that board because um, you may possibly need it in the future. So you can just choose to archive it and by archiving it, it'll no longer be in your main view and in order to access um, archived boards, you can just uh, play around with the filter, make it show the archives, and by doing so, you can still have access to that information, and possibly, if you're gonna bring back that board, if you want to, you can just unarchive it, and it'll come back into your main view right now. So, I can show you a couple examples of uh, how to archive and unarchive a board, so just follow me. All right, so here on our screen, uh, we have this boards application. Um, as you can see, these are all the different types of boards that are uh, currently in use and not archived. Um, in order to tell the difference between an archived and unarchived board, we can come here to this filter section. Uh, we can include the archive. And as you can see, the archived boards will have this archive tag on it, and our non-unarchived boards will not have the archive boards. Um, and as you can see, you can still access all the information inside of it, um, even if it's archived. And it's not going to be deleted. So in order to archive a board, um, let's go to one of my applications that I've been working on, Inspections app. Uh, we can open the board for inspections. And as you can see, I have all these files, um, all these different cards associated with it, and maybe this inspections app is no longer in use and it's deprecated. Now, I don't want to delete this entire board. Uh, all I do is just kind of just remove it from my main view. And since it's no longer going to be in use, I can just choose to archive it. So as you can see here on the right side, there's the archive button. And by clicking on it, um, I will no longer be able to see this inspections board um, on my main view. So as you can see, this filter is still on. It's no longer viewable. But if we kind of go back to this filter, Let's say, let's show me only the archive. There you go, it has the archive tag and all this information is still um, accessible. All right, and say maybe later down the line, we're gonna bring back this uh, inspections application, right? Um, all we have to do is come back and where the same area was for the archive, this is on archive button. Here we go, we click on this. It's unarchived and since the initial filter was on, um, only archive. We can choose it to exclude archive. And here we go. Here's an inspections application. All the information is still persisting and its archive tag is no longer available. All right, so that was a quick overview of how to archive and unarchive a board. Uh, just for a quick recap, you can choose to archive a board by clicking onto that board. And on the upper right hand side is the archive button. You click on that. Um, you archive it, it's no longer going to be in your main list view, and maybe possibly down the line, uh, the board is going to be in use now. So you just go back to the board by accessing it through the filters to include archive or show only to archive. Find your board, click on that board, upper right hand side again, unarchive, you click on that, and it should be uh, viewable in your main list view. All right, so thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or if you want any more information, you can check out www.appware.com or you can check out our YouTube channel to watch more videos. Thank you.